guys, it's Cece, and today I am here to talk about my June TBR. I assume you all know why I'm excited about my June TBR. It's because I have a lot of queer books to talk about, and I'm very excited to talk about all of them. Before we get into the books, though, I have a couple of announcements and things I gotta say. First of all, I am going to be out of the country for half of June, which means there are going to be less videos than normal up on this channel and less queer content than I'm normally able and wanting to post in the month of Pride. I am still going to try to get some videos out, but I will be gone from the 12th until the 28th, and that is really going to cut into my ability to film, edit, and upload. The other thing is, though, that I am going to be doing a blogging project on my blog of the same title as the channel, Problems of a Book Nerd, is a Tumblr blog I started years and years ago. It's been a little inactive in the past few years, but I am making it super active in the month of June. If you follow me there, you've probably already seen what's going on, but I will tell you again now, I am doing a project where I post one thing a day for Pride. So that is 30 blog posts about super queer stuff. Be sure to go check out my blog. It's down in the description below. I have tons of great stuff coming from book recommendations to resource posts, author information, and personal information. Any of that that you are interested in, be sure to follow me. That is where the majority of my Pride content is going to be this month. Okay, and now with that out of the way, let's talk about the books that I'm planning to read in June. First of all, I have a carryover from last month, and that is The Five Stages of Andrew Brawley by Sean David Hutchinson. I didn't read this last month, which means I didn't read a book from my top 12 TBR. Oops, I'm working on catching up, but I am planning on reading this this month before I leave on my trip because it's from the library. This book is about a boy named Andrew Brawley, who was the only survivor in some kind of incident that killed the rest of his family. Now he lives at the hospital, just making it from day to day, until one day a boy named Rusty is brought into the ER with burns across most of his body. Drew and Rusty start to fall for each other, but Drew also knows that death was meant for him and that death will come for him Anyway, that's kind of a mysterious description, but that's kind of the vibe that you get with Sean David Hutchinson. Like, I'm sure this is going to be a weird time that's also going to deal with boys who love boys and mental illness incredibly well. I also know that there are comics mixed in here, which I don't think I mentioned last time I talked about this book. I'm pretty sure Andrew is an artist, so like his art's mixed in. Um, or maybe Rusty's an artist? I don't remember. Anyway, I'm excited to read this one, so this will be happening at the beginning of the month. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I am also hoping to read Drumroll Please by Lisa Jen Bigelow. This is being released later this month, June 26th, and it is queer middle grade, so that's why I gotta read it. This was sent to me by the author a couple of months ago, but as many of you know, I've been really behind on ARCs lately. Sorry. So I'm trying to catch up, trying to read some of the newer ones, and this is one of the ones I would like to read. This is about a young girl named Melly who joins the school band because of her best friend and winds up finding out that she loves to play the drums. Then over the summer she goes to a summer camp for kids who love music and she's finding her life really upturned. Her parents are split up, her best friend has abandoned her, and she finds herself falling for another girl at camp named Adeline. I am always and forever here for queer middle grade. It is is a thing that I, we're, ha we're getting more and more of and it makes me really happy. So keep an eye out for this book and I will hopefully be reading it pretty soon as well. Everything else I have is an ebook because that's what I'm gonna be reading when I'm on vacation. So I have lots of ebooks to cover, let's get into it. So next I wanna talk about Echo After Echo by Amy Rose Capetta, which is a mystery and also a lady romance. So everything good. This book is about a girl named Zara who is debuting on the New York stage and there is some mysterious stuff going on at this theater. First there's one death, then there's another one. People don't really seem to be reacting with enough um, terror. People don't know if it's an accident, if it's intentional. And it's really scaring Zara, who is not supposed to be distracted while she is working on this production. And then she finds another distraction as well in a lighting designer. I've heard incredible things about this book. I've really wanted to read it. I've had this ebook for ages. And I know Amy Rose Capetta is coming out with a new book later on this year that I'm dying to read. So have to read Echo after Echo. Next up we have Whole Metal Girls by Emily Skrutsky. I got this arc a little while ago. I have been dying to read it because this features a book with like a super great friendship between ladies. And one of those ladies is aromantic and asexual. 
Hell yes. This book is about two girls who come from opposite worlds. One who has been living a life of privilege and one who has just been making it by barely paycheck to paycheck. They both sign up to become something called a Sela or a Skella, which basically involves really intense body modifications to become a cyborg and then meet in the ranks. I love Emily Skrutsky. She wrote The Edge of the Abyss, which was about lesbian pirates and sea monsters which is a, an amazing pitch. This one's about cyborg girl best friends, also an excellent pitch. I cannot wait to read it, especially because there's an Arrow Ace protagonist, thrilled. I'm also planning to read Long Macchiatos and Monsters by Allison Evans. This has been on my TBR for ages, considering it is an incredibly short novella. Basically, this is about two people who happen to meet Jalen and P, and how they bond over bad sci-fi movies. Jalen is genderqueer, P is trans. They are also both people of color and both have disabilities. I've heard a lot of great things about this novella, especially from Own Voices reviewers. It's gonna take me no time at all, and I'm really excited to finally read it. The last book that I'm gonna give like an in-depth description of is Spy Stuff by Matthew J. Metzger. This is an own voices book with a trans guy protagonist. Basically this is about a trans guy named Anton who is just very set on this thought that no one could ever want a trans guy boyfriend. And then this seemingly straight guy named Jude suddenly wants to date him. The only thing is it doesn't seem like Jude knows Anton is trans and Anton really isn't sure how this is going to play out for him or for Jude. This book feels like it has somewhat of a vague description, but I've also heard really fantastic things about it, and finding Own Voices trans guy rep is sometimes difficult. Own Voices trans rep at all is difficult and hard to find, but I've read some wonderful reviews of this one, and it has also been on my TBR for a while now, so I'm excited to buy this ebook and give it a read while I am traveling. I realize this wasn't a very long list uh, as far as a TBR goes, but you know me, I have not been reading as much lately. I will say that I have some other ebooks that are available on my Kindle or my phone to read should I finish all of these and I'm still traveling. So I also have an arc of Final Girls by Riley Redgate. This one has a pansexual main character who's involved in a female-female romance. It's supposed to be really intense. It's also supposed to be fabulous, and I believe that, considering it's Riley Redgate. I also have Who is Vera Kelly by Rosalie Nett. This is about a girl, I think, in the 40s and 50s. She's part of the underground gay scene in Greenwich Village, and somehow she gets roped into a spy situation. I've been excited about this one for a while, plus I love a good period book about queer stuff. And I also possibly have Thaw by Elise Springer. I know almost nothing about this novella except for the fact that it is about an ace main character and has been on my Amazon wishlist for a good long time, so if I get to it, that would be great. Okay guys, that is it. Those are the books that I want to talk about as far as my June TBR goes. I will hopefully be posting a third part of my LGBTQIA plus recommendations sometime soon. Cross your fingers for me, cheer me on on social media, and be sure to follow my blog down in the description below if you want all kinds of recs all month long. What are you reading in the month of June? Let me know down in the comments below, and thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in another one very soon. Bye!